Hello, and welcome to 20 Minute Tech. This is for Irving Middle School teachers, and our uh, subject today is OneNote. We're going to be learning what's in it for teachers creating a notebook, clipping from the screen, email organization, and lesson plans are all in this training. Once you're in OneNote, you have a lot of opportunities to organize and share. I'm going to show you first of all how you would create a brand new notebook. File, New, and Notebook. You can name your notebook and let's leave it as a blank template for now. Templates will be another training session. For school use, you're going to want to use it on multiple computers because you'll be saving it on your H drive. So that's a separate computer from the one you're on. If you plan on sharing with others, this would be your selection in a shared folder on a server. In the next screen, you're going to choose where to save your notebook. Try to save it on your shared H drive, best place for it. And then you're going to want to create a folder called OneNote or OneNote Notebooks. And uh, best thing to do is select that folder that you create. So new folder, OneNote, select it. It'll then put your new notebook inside there. And you don't need to send yourself a link to that in your email. Check to see that your notebooks are syncing. Look for the green check mark. If they are not syncing, that means there would be a red X. Lots of teachers like to go surfing on the internet to find information for their classes. But no one wants to save all the bookmarks without knowing really what's on the page to help them in class. The best thing to use is OneNote and clip those parts of a page that you're going to use for your lessons. Here's how you do that. One way is within Internet Explorer or any of your browsers, simply do the keyboard shortcut Window Key S. It'll give you a faded look and you can click and drag the portion of the screen that you want. This shows up in OneNote as an unfiled note. In other words, there are two places to look. Down on the left, unfiled notes, and up at the top, it'll be called an unfiled note. Quickly move this to a notebook by clicking the page and dragging it to whatever section in a notebook you want. Another way to clip is directly within OneNote. If you have a web page already selected that you are interested in placing into OneNote, start on the OneNote page. Make sure your cursor is where you would like to place that information and then come to the top and press the clip button. It will take you to the section you wish to clip and it will place it directly in your paper where you had your cursor. Another reason I love OneNote is for my email organization. In Outlook I bet you've noticed up at the top a nice little tiny button that if you hover over it it says send to OneNote. I am a great fan of this button. I'm going to show you right now. I'm on a uh, email and I'm going to send it to OneNote. What I get in OneNote is a unfiled note, but guess what? I also get the full attachments and the body of my email. I can do what I need to do to file it. Just click and drag. And before I close this introduction to OneNote, I must emphasize how incredible it is for lessons. Using OneNote you have an opportunity to create some very well organized lessons. All of your resources, anything you want to display, all of your activities can be right there within a OneNote. Links to any of the pages that you might want to visit in class. And OneNote works great on a smart board. You can write on a OneNote using either the OneNote pens themselves, the highlighters. You can even have students writing on a OneNote page. OneNote always keeps a link to whatever source you clipped from. So even if you can't remember where you got that picture or where you got that quote, you will have a link that will go there so that you can get back to it. 
I encourage you to download the OneNote 2007 toolkit for teachers. It's got so many resources and ideas, you really do not want to miss it.